Hey everyone, it's been a while. I wanna take a quick look at the new culling tool in Capture One Pro 23. Here we have a session that I did with Maggie about four months ago. Uh, I'm gonna do a full video on this entire session from um, the client uh, consultation uh, all the way through uh, editing processing and uh, you know shooting and editing processing and delivering the photos uh, to her as well so here we have this session I've shot uh, like 1050 images which is more than I would shoot for a normal headshot session but we went into this with the intention of um, creating a video and so we have a lot of images now, because we have a lot of images, I'm not, I'm obviously not gonna deliver a thousand images to Maggie as proofs and, and make her have to sort through all those images. So I now need to call down my shoot to something manageable for her and for me. But thankfully there's this amazing new culling tool in Capture One Pro and I'm just opening it now here and we'll start looking up here first in the upper left hand corner. You'll see there's this process that says enable groups. This is the thing that is going to speed up your culling process. So now that that's done, um, let's take a look at the similarity. If we bring this up to 100, it's basically going to suggest that every image is uh, its own. So we'll just drag this right up and we'll see our groups pretty much disappear and the count goes down to about one or two for each photo. And likewise, if we drag this down, it's going to assume that um, we're, it's not looking for as much uniqueness in the shots. So, and it's not even until it, we get to about 50% that we start to see two separate groups here. And then as you increase the similarity, you can say, okay, well, this looks like a good range. These shots all look fairly similar to me. And you can start to like break it out more and more and just adjust the similarity to somewhere where you are happy and I'm gonna keep it uh, around 65 here. Now, what we're gonna do is you can see by my color tags that I've already done a bit of an edit here. Um, so I'm gonna click on this first group in the upper right hand corner and then I can go through the images. It's gonna be really slow if you're using your mouse. So the keyboard shortcuts are pretty simple. Up and down arrow uh, will take you through the next image in the group. Left and right will take you from one group to the next group and back with the left arrow key. So you can do that and then you can use your keyboard shortcuts. And if you come down here, you can click on the keyboard shortcuts and it will show you when you need to the keyboard shortcuts for the culling tool. If you use the plus key, that's gonna give it a green flag. The minus key will give it a red flag. I have the asterisk set to yellow flag and yellow flag for me is just something that I like to use to say, this is an image that I think is, is unique and might be useful for me personally, for my portfolio, but maybe not the client. That would be an image that might be a little interesting or weird or might've caught a moment um, that I could maybe use in my commercial portfolio, but I would not uh, consider a good headshot to deliver to a client. So as we go through, we can quickly just like spot images we like, flag them, and then go to the next group, move through. You, you can see how quickly it's moving through. I'm just tapping that arrow key and it's just burning through very quickly. I can move very quickly through these images and keep going from group to group and then flag, go quickly. The thing that I do wanna say here is if we look here, you're gonna see how this, this image is pretty orange. This is not a Capture One preview. This is the JPEG preview that's embedded in the raw file. And the culling tool, in order for it to be fast, it uses the embedded image, the embedded JPEG image that's included in the raw file. What I would like to see in future versions of this culling tool is I would like to see uh, another option where I can say, use the Capture One previews. I don't care if it takes a little longer or if it's not as fast. If I know that going into it, then I will be able to make that determination myself and say, okay, I'm okay that it's a little slower, um, but I want to be able to use the previews that I've uh, got in here. Because the great thing about this is uh, I can come here. Well, let's take a quick another look at another group. And then you, you can just see how quickly it goes through. But the great thing about this tool is I can hit done 
and uh, I'm back here in Capture One, uh, flipping through the images again. But I can just come back up here and click on the icon again to call images, and it's gonna bring this tool right back up. And then I can adjust my similarities. I can redo the call. I can go back in and it's not just something that you do at import. It is a tool that's separate itself within Capture One. And I think it's a great new addition to the software. So let me know in the comments if you're using this tool yet, if you like it, what you think about it, if it's something that you think will be handy and useful. Uh, I've been using it for a while through the beta versions of the software, but, um, it is uh, pretty great and, and I like it. There are some other nude features that in, in Capture One that I'm gonna show you uh, in the next video. So that's the culling tool. Thank you for sticking around. Like this video if you found it helpful. Take care.